So the other day, Jake did a video on combining some of the new features in Chrome with HTTP2, meaning that he used fetch with streaming responses from a server to dynamically inject HTML progressively into a page. And this got me thinking, what if we could do the same thing with CSS? The solution for CSS and performant websites for a long time has been to inline critical CSS and then put the rest at the bottom since CSS blocks the rendering of the page. But my thinking was, what if we used JavaScript to stream back CSS into a style element? So that's what I did. Let me step you through the code quickly so you have a feel for what's going on. Uh, and then we can go from there. So our server here is very basic. Um, just HTTP server and I'm streaming files back. And then the next important piece to look at is the streamer, the actual JavaScript that streams the CSS. So the first thing I do is create a style element. I then fetch a CSS, get the reader, which is a stream uh, from the response and then I parse it using the text decoder. So I read it, I say, are we not done? If we're not done, decode the CSS that I have, plop it into the inner HTML, and then get the next chunk of the stream. And that's it. And so let's look at the result. So initially I have this slow one, which just uses a traditional style tag uh, above all the content, and it links right to that large CSS file. So if we refresh it, we can see that it loads pretty quick, uh, not super fast, but it's there. Um, and we can actually see the rules being applied just because of the size of the document. Now if we go into this other example, which is actually streaming the response using a script tag above all the content, not with async, uh, it's actually kind of slower. It feels slower. And I just refresh it again here. But what's interesting is we get this flash of unstyled content. And then we see the content then sort of plop in. So it's pretty clear to me that this traditional way was faster, or seemed faster at least, until I went into the timeline. So in the traditional one, let's just capture a timeline. And the metric that I'm paying attention to here is the first frame. So if we zoom in, we see that we get our first frame at around 405 milliseconds. And if we do the same here in the streaming example, go to our timeline. You'll notice that our first frame is actually at 300 milliseconds. So what does this mean? Well, it means that streaming CSS does have benefits. We get a faster first paint, which makes sense because we're not waiting for the entire CSS document to be downloaded. However, we get this flash of unstyled content. So is there a place for this approach? I think so, but it'd be in combination with critical CSS and then perhaps a preprocessor to sort your CSS rules by specificity so that you get a progressive render of the page.